A major theme in my research is applying basic principles of biology to address social needs, mainly through biotechnology. Basically, we're studying microorganisms. The research is about preserving the Earth, and particularly the marine environment. Applying the findings is our moonshot issue. We have been tackling the question of how to reduce CO2, said to be a main factor in global warming in many ways, both at sea and on land. We began core research for evolutional science and technology, CREST, in 2011. This research taught us that macroalgae are most effective in fixing CO2. This moonshot is an enormous project. Macroalgae can fix over 10 times as much carbon dioxide as plants can. Determined to study macroalgae, I partnered with Mia University to cultivate macroalgae and with Kyoto University to develop microorganisms for transforming substances. Until then, nobody had been able to cultivate macroalgae anywhere in the world. Through joint research with Mia University, we did it for the first time. Today, every type of Japanese macroalgae can be cultivated, using the unique method we developed in Japan. Macroalgae include the laminaria and the sargassum. Laminaria include the edible varieties known as kombu and wakame. Though some parts of these algae are typically discarded, the whole organism can be used. Bioethanol can be extracted from macroalgae. The entire sargassum organism, which is not edible, can be used for this purpose. Bioethanol can be used in place of jet fuel, for which demand is highest. With the help of an industrial complex, it can be turned completely into jet fuel. Japan developed the world's first technology for mass production of ethanol. If these two technologies, ethanol production with special biocatalysts and macroalgae complete cultivation, are used in tandem, Japan, a maritime nation can solve all of its energy from the sea. Macroalgae complete cultivation requires seaweed forests. Discussions will be needed for this purpose. For example, offshore wind power generation is being developed. We learned that if macroalgae are cultivated at the bases of these installations, considerable numbers of fish may propagate there as well. We've received endorsements from many quarters for moves to create seaweed forests at the bases of all offshore wind power installations. What's even more important is Japan boasts seven offshore airports, the only country in the world that has any. The areas around these airports can all be useful to grow seaweed beds and forests. If bioethanol replaces petroleum, the benefits to Japan, the world, and the Earth will be hard to overstate. Japan will have taken the initiative in contributing to the environment. And since this goal is one of our moonshot targets, one target will be mission accomplished. Of course, this is not a project I can accomplish on my own. It's thanks also to collaboration from Dr. Kuroda of the Kyoto Institute of Technology and Dr. Shibata and Yamamoto of Mie University. And since the project is in the marine field, we still need plenty of cooperation from companies engaged in marine civil works and marine machinery manufacturers. If we succeed in developing this project, Japan will become a true maritime nation. That is my hope. I want to use the seas of Japan to cultivate macroalgae to fix CO2 and convert it into energy. Nato.